It's important to underline that close to 90 percent of truckers in this country are vaccinated, like close to 90 percent of Canadians. Over the past many months and years now, Canadians have stepped up to protect each other, to protect our frontline workers, to protect our elders, to protect our young people, to protect people like truckers who are putting food on our grocery store shelves. Canadians have stepped up to do the right thing to protect the freedoms and the rights of Canadians to get back to the things we love to do. We know the way through this pandemic is by getting everyone vaccinated. And the overwhelming majority, close to 90% of Canadians, have done exactly that. The small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing do not represent the views of Canadians who have been there for each other, who know that following the science and stepping up to protect each other is the best way to continue to ensure our freedoms, our rights, our values as a country. As citizens, this isn't about a vaccine or no vaccine. It's about what we're able to do every day. Art, doesn't it? Doesn't it kind of warm your yes. heart? People pushing back against authoritarianism, even if they're in the minority. Did I say authoritarianism right? I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is what Justin Trudeau said March 21, 2020. He said, while many of us are working from home, there are others who aren't able to do that like the truck drivers who are working day and night to make sure our shelves are stocked. So when you can, please thank a trucker for everything they're doing and help them however you can. What a difference a year or two makes, huh? Here he is, just the other day. The small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing, do not represent the views of Canadians. They have unacceptable thoughts. Did you hear what he said? Yes. I'll play it for you play again. again. These are unacceptable. A small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing do not represent the views of Canadians. Well, it looks like you've had a bit too much to think. <laughs> unacceptable. Those thoughts are unacceptable. And by the way, vaccine mandates go against the science because the science tells you, why would you want to mandate vaccines? Well, we want to stop the uh, pandemic. You can't vaccinate your way out of this pandemic. Even if everyone's vaccinated, everyone and I mean everyone, is likely to get COVID-19 anyway. So that, so you're going to get it. So now why do you want to have a vaccine mandate? Who do you care who you get it from, a vaccinated person or an unvaccinated person? It doesn't matter, does it? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. So that's, these, these don't, there's no science. If everybody got vaccinated and we would kill this virus, I would say you have an argument at least. I would still be against it because it's authoritarian and I'm for bodily autonomy. But at least you'd have an argument. There is no argument. You're going to get COVID, likely, whether you're vaccinated or not. 